Hey guys, um, it's Della, and I'm back with another video. You know, the video I promised about my grades and stuff once they've been posted, and they have been posted. And so here's the video. Um, so, uh, yeah, like I said, grades have been posted. They're there. My transcript forever I'm not going away but it's okay they're just grades I'm not going to beat myself up about it because they're just grades <laughs> you guys I want to die <laughs> No. Why? 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 Like, I'm just saying that to make myself feel better that they're just grades. Ooh. They're not just grades. Well, they are grades, but still, it's like, uh, no. Those aren't the grades I want, you know? So, like I said, I was taking three RT classes this semester. I had an A in one. And two C's. So it's one A and two C's. Like uno dos. Like one, two. Okay. But anyway, my GPA is still good, which is good. But um, what did I learn this semester? Well, for one, I, um, I'm not going to procrastinate anymore. So that's the number one thing I've learned. And number two, I'm not going to allow my emotions to um, stop me from studying. Number two things. So, just like I have two C's on my transcript now. Or I got two C's in RT school. I've learned two major lessons. You see how that goes? No more procrastination. No more allowing my feelings to stop me from studying. Okay. So um, I my plan now is to um do better you guys honestly I really do know I should do better but I just don't because I'm just used to procrastinating and then when you get to RT school it's like you kind not kind of you have to teach yourself so for someone who's not really used to studying because like I said I've never really had to study you know I just literally look over my notes the night before my exams go take them and pass that has been my strategy and it has worked and right now it's not working and if I continue to procrastinate because my program is literally two and a half years so one semester is done so we only have four semesters left so out of five semesters one is gone we have four more see I can't even count we have four more semesters so um I uh, can't keep getting C's because it would be death to my GPA okay my GPA would drop so low that It'll literally be six feet under. Like, if I continue, even Jesus, who can fix anything? I don't think he can fix my GPA. So, let's do a prayer for my GPA that's on life support right now. Jesus. No, but all jokes aside, you guys, um, 
I'm not proud about the C's, you know, so it's okay. Sometimes you get C's and it's okay, especially if it's your fault. You just kind of have to accept it. You can't cry, even though you want to. You can't keep staring at your transcript, thinking it's going to change because it's not. It's okay. We can make it together, you guys. I've learned, I've, like, I've, I've really learned my lesson. Like, I've so learned my lesson to the point where I have started reading for summer school. <laughs> okay, like, <laughs> since we already know what chapters we're supposed to read for the first week, I have started reading those two chapters for summer school, and I have started studying because I know for a fact we're going to have a quiz on the first day back. So I have started studying, I'm going to make these A's this semester, and I'm going to bring my GPA back up, and I will not let it drop below a 3.0. It's above 3.0 right now, but we're not going to let it drop below a 3.0. But yeah, those are my grades for the semester, 1A, 2 C's. Okay, um, I'm going to go now and um, I will update you guys when school start on summer school and stuff like that. No, I'll update you before summer school. What am I going to talk about though? Maybe I'll do like a stethoscope review, I don't know. Like if you have any suggestions, like put them down below or something like that because honestly I don't know what to talk about. So if you have anything you want me to talk about, just let me know and I will address it. Alright, bye guys. Have a nice summer.